Greetings, YouTube. I've seen lots of people want a greater challenge when it came to doing a game. I've watched people do Let's Plays all the time, and I've seen people do Let's Plays. For example, many a true nerd did the entire Fallout 4 mission with no healing. I've seen somebody do Skyrim uh, with no playing a, a spellcaster, but no offensive spells. Just summoning and... Uh, illusion to make other people do what you wanted to that kind of stuff um and i can understand people wanting to say play a low fantasy setting it's not my particular you know uh, play to nachos but you know i can understand how some people might want that artificial challenge or want to emulate like the type of novel that they've read Fafford the gray mouser conan which just tend to be low magic uh, settings as opposed to high magic, which is, you know, your, your standard D&D &D or Pathfinder style game. Um, and there are numbers of ways of doing that. You know, for example, you could just have far fewer spells. Um, I was looking at a system recently called, I think it's called Symbarum. It's S-Y-M-B-A-R-O-U-M. And an entire spellcasting career, you might only pick up a dozen or, or 15 spells. That's it. Um, and I've seen systems where every single, uh, spell was a skill. So you, that's, that's what this, you had a limited number of slots of skills you could take over the course of your career. And so you got better at casting spells if you just dumped the, this, the skill points into them and kind of stuff or skill ranks. Um, you can also just have them be fewer. You could run E6 or P6 which is a standard 3.5 game or a first edition Pathfinder game where you play the standard character's arc until level 6, and from that point forward, you only gain uh, skills and feats. And I think you get like a minimum number of hit points, but you don't get hit dice from that point on. It may just be con bonuses at that point, or it's a 1 or something, and you, it's very limited. But the idea being that the world remains dangerous because you're not throwing around 6 and 7 and 8th level spells. But one of the models I despise when it comes to wanting to get that gritty feel um, is when you either require a spellcaster to use their literal life force in the form of hit points to cast spells. And to me, that's no different than requiring a fighter every time they they miss with a, an attack roll, they take damage. That's that's exactly the same thing. You're making them suffer for using the skill that their entire class is built around, and I think that is a massively jerk thing to do, both as a rule set or as a game master. Or you can use corruption, which says that if you use magic, you will be corrupted over time until your character is eventually consumed by the the evil of the world, yada, 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 whatever the narrative is. And I bring this up because of that game I just mentioned, Simbarum, or however how you ever say it. Um, when I'm reading it, I, didn't, doesn't, I don't have a pronunciation in my head a lot of the time. I'm just looking at the letters. Am I recognizing the word? Because it's being referenced multiple times, but I didn't spell it out. Um, so I just kind of, until I had to like get ready for this video, and I'm like, how do I say that? <laughs> But um, they use that model where it's corruption. And what's particularly frustrating is that if you take the right kind of uh, class features or you are a member of a organized spell casting guild of some variety, the level of corruption is either mitigated or eliminated. It's lowered or eliminated. I also found it really frustrating because if you're an individual caster, as in you're like you are a solo practitioner, you can't, you don't get the bonus you would get from being a member of an organized spell guild or a coven or a church or what have you. You don't get that bonus because you're a solo practitioner. So it's an inherent system that's inherently socially conservative. It says so long as you are a member of an organization, you get benefits. But if you have studied magic no matter for how long, or how talented you are, or how gifted you are, if you are a solo practitioner, you will be corrupted faster. And I think that's kind of bull. But I really despise that model. 
that a world the world can be infused with magic to the point where there's like five different spell casting traditions i think in that game or four or five and all of them will be will corrupt you unless you jump through the particular hoops you need to jump through and as long as you're willing to like pay the dues and you know bend your knee to the authorities of the organization you're a member of i despise that it's just horrible in my book you can have low magic without punishing people and i just the idea that the force that infuses the universe that is everywhere is inherently evil that's that's a inherently socially conservative religious worldview right there on your uh, right there it's like essentially it's a very calvinistic view saying that you know like the flesh itself is evil you know what i mean that that if that anything mortal is tainted and that you have to you know shed yourself of all worldly connections to achieve you know true purity and enlightenment and godliness and that's not a healthy worldview in my book i will freely admit that i am deadly uh deadly opposed to organized religion of any kind uh, i think it's dangerous and i'm opposed to social conservatism i figure it, it i feel that it poses the greatest risk to our species of anything that's ever existed nothing is more dangerous than social conservatism nothing so when it's baked into a set of rules, which is supposed to be something we're doing for fun, it's a form of escapism. Why do I want to bring that with me? Why do I want to go through a world of escapism and bring everything from the world that I despise with me? Wouldn't I want to go to a world that's better than that? Or can be overcome, at least, if there is a bad guy in the world in a way that I can't overcome the bad guys in this world? So, yeah don't like corruption not even a little bit don't like harming the spellcasters with you know having their life force drained away if they want to use their their, their spellcasting ability uh, i might prefer the you know the vancy and magic that we've been using in D D for you know 40 or 50 years or the spell point system a, my favorite example being dream scarred presses uh, Sionic Rules for 3.5 or Pathfinder First Edition. Just absolutely the best, not, not, sorry, not 3.5, Pathfinder Second First Edition. Um, they base theirs off of the 3.5 rules. Yeah, my mistake. Um, the best spell point system I've ever read. It's just beautiful. And it lets the person do what you want to do. It makes very flexible. You can, how many points you can, you want to sink into an ability is entirely dependent upon the, the caster dependent upon your level so there's a control built into it but it's a it's a reasonable control as you gain power the number of points you can sink into a single ability for that particular use that you have in mind um it goes up so yeah so a spell that could start out only being usable for one against one target eventually it can be used against multiples a spell that has a you know a limited duration can have the duration expended you ex instead of having meta magic feats like you did with 3.5 or Pathfinder First Edition, or I think maybe in the uh, fifth and second of D&D uh, &D and Pathfinder, uh, you just dump more points into it to make the powers more versatile. And every explanation for how points could be added to that particular power is built into the power description, so it's right there in front of you in one nice little handy location. Awesome. Um, but yeah don't like corruption so let's talk about that uh have you seen it well done is it something that you feel that a game should have uh do you think that there are times it's appropriate and times that it isn't appropriate or is it something that you absolutely must have in a game and you can't fathom someone like me who doesn't want to have it in theirs <laughs>